Wednesday. Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. Starting today off uh, at a, uh, outside of a 7-Eleven to grab just a quick bite of, uh, of food before we meet up with Chaz and Jeff. They, they started their adventures today pretty early. But Jeff has a camera, so you probably have already seen that. Um, we're going to um, walk around a bit and then maybe meet up with them. And the ultimate goal was to see the cherry blossoms because we got lucky. We actually, uh, you know, we booked this trip a long time ago and it just so happens that it's cherry blossom season and we were hitting it at least like for a few days. So like over there you can see. It might be a weeping cherry blossom. Those are a thing too. The goal today is that we're going to go check that out because we only have another like day or two of them like being in bloom. So we want to make sure that we see them while we can see them. Jen, have you seen this here? They got they got buildings on the river. They got water going down. They probably got some boats now and then. Yeah. What are we are we gonna drink some brat sausage liquor and go to the Patriot scheme? I really love it when you laugh my people. <laughs> So we got to see the cherry blossoms, which was exciting because we never got to see them last time we were here. And uh, now we're going to take a fairly long walk to Shibuya, which is like half hour away. And uh, we're going to meet up with Chaz and Jeff who are in that area and uh, hopefully get some lunch. Dan, you ready for lunch? Yeah. Okay. Slowly walking over. Here. <laughs> I might use so, all of it. I, what, what's most incredible about this to me is not the dog statue. It's the fact that there's an orderly line for the dog statue.
What did you get? Um, I is that, uh, is of, that salmon? Yeah, it's one it's of like the mayo. rolls I was familiar with. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's well, there's a lot to choose from. Yeah. So. Ooh, a dessert. Similar to flower pots. Oh, it's cold. It's ice cream with cocoa powder on top. That's it. That's all it is. But it's a shovel. Yep. One of my goals uh, during this trip was to try the natto. And the sushi place we're at makes it into a roll. So, uh... Here goes nothing, I guess. Chaz, are you having the other? So this, this, yeah, this, this is what grosses most people out is the, the, the texture, mm -hmm. kind of the stringiness of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I really need anything with it, uh, but okay. Here it goes. It's intense. I'm not sure what people get like messed up about with it. Um, it is a very earthy kind of um, I, I don't I don't think there's a parallel. Uh, it tastes like what it is. Not terrible? Well, I don't know. If you're into that kind of funky thing, uh, it's 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 really, really funky. Tastes like beans. <laughs> So we ate lunch at the uh, the conveyor belt sushi place that Mal and I went to when we were in Japan last, because that place is really good. And then uh, we hit up Don Quixote, which is basically a big store that sells everything. And the place is really crazy, because they, ha they have probably twice as many things as like a Walmart would have, but then half as much space. So all of the aisles are like super tiny. And, and everything is like shouting at you? Yeah, there's all like these little TVs and little iPad displays that have ads going, and they're all like super loud, it's, it's, and they're it's everywhere. Like sensory overload. Yeah, and that's from an American. <laughs> so uh, we we went in there for a little bit. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Chas and Jeff went off to uh, I think they went to a park, and uh, I'm not sure where Alex and Haley went, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of stuff to see. They're they're gonna be out in here. Oh, are they still in there? Yeah, they're checking out. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll see them soon. Blueberry sauce, ice cream. It's a little noisy here in Shibuya, but we'll see how it is. Very good. Little wings. Yeah. It smells good. Because we are crazy, we're going to walk to Harajuku, which is the uh, fashion district. Uh, we were there last time, and uh, it's apparently. Like a 16 minute walk? It's not that bad. It's really not. Yeah, it's not even that bad. You can't even say it's crazy. It's not that crazy. It's like pretty reasonable. That's our Juku. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're, I'm going. Okay. We're going. Let's do it. I was it in there because they wouldn't let me film. It's really neat. It's really cool. There were lots of, I mean, you could have got some stunning panning shots of all the cool like colors of the things that they've arranged. Well, when, when, when I walked in, they started like they were smiling and laughing and like like saying about the camera, and I could, I don't understand Japanese, so I couldn't tell if they were complimenting the size of my camera <laughs> or if they were politely telling me to put it away. 
Um, but I couldn't I couldn't stand that place anyway because the smells are too strong and I, I can't do the the strong smells. But everyone else seemed to have fun. I like the light, like just looking in, like the colors and everything, mm-hmm. like the the rainbow on the the white walls, and they sell like bath bombs. Just bath bombs. Like that's it. Yeah. 100% that's it. I mean, yeah. Oh. I don't know if they have other stuff at other stores. But they yeah. do. Oh, okay. This store is only that. They explained that they have uh, some bath bombs that are Harajuku exclusive. So that's what I got. No rabbit fighting, by the way. It's very, it's strictly illegal in Yeah, Japan. there's no rabbit fighting. Uh, so that, I, okay. it is a little shrine. Oh. That's the shrine more. that's across the street in that, uh, in that part. Yeah, that's one. I got the same one from my mom. Oh, you got the you got the shrine also. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, they had a cool app they were letting me use on their phone where you go up and take a picture of the bath bomb and it'll it'll show you what it looks like in the bathtub. Wow. Because <laughs> like it'll, like cause they have like a little video. And there's of color and they, it swirls. Glitter. Like, it's like yeah. I don't know if you saw it with the brief time you were in there. They have like like a rotating sushi thing except it's I got all the bath it. bombs. I can actually see it from yeah. down here a little bit. Yeah, they have one in there. It's kind of, it's really cool. It reminds me of the pluck duck at the fair. Yeah! You pick up the duck and look at the number to see if you won. Now we're on our way back to uh, the Airbnb. I think we're gonna get dinner at some point. Not exactly sure when. We don't have concrete plans for everything. Chaz and Jeff have they have like full they had a full day planned. Um, so we're not we're not even gonna see them until later tonight, but I'm glad they're having fun. Uh, the six of us are real worn out. <laughs> Jeff and I are in Shinjuku Gyoen, which is a huge park in the middle of the city, and there are soccer trees everywhere. And it's especially cool because here they've got a huge wide variety, so in a lot of the areas we've been seeing kind of city lights, but here we've got there's some really deep pinks, uh, there's some pink willow trees, there's some that have already been open, there's some that aren't open yet, but it's just everywhere you turn, there's another amazing sight. Alex, Haley, and Dan wanted to do something different for dinner, so that leaves me, Mao, and Lindsay. So we're gonna go get uh, we're gonna go get some ramen, and uh, you know, hopefully not have too many issues with the ordering process, since uh, you know we don't speak Japanese. My plan is to smile a lot, make apologetic faces, <coughs> and do my best with the words that I have, like tonkotsu ramen. I mean, that's. That's already, you're there. You're there. You can literally order a food. I just, I just like to point at things. That's good too. That's yeah. a good one. Uh, pointing, pointing is my specialty. How is it? Not bad. Yeah. I would say neutral. Yeah. Ramen was a good choice, man. And also I haven't, uh, I haven't had ramen in a while, so getting it in an authentic place was, uh, 
a good choice. If not a little difficult to order. Hey, how was your dinner? Good. Oh man, you have missed out on some grade A television crime. We were on this great kid show. I can't even. I can't even like explain what was happening. One of the characters <laughs> was literally a rock, like a hand face, a big purple yeah. hand, that big purple hand with eyeballs. But also like one of those punk bracelets on, but it was like an anthropomorphized and it talked. It was weird. Uh, great. And then there was a, there was this great show with these little kitties. Like cartoon cats. And they were prehistoric, like prehistoric humans in the ice age. And they were and they, like killed a mammoth, and then they developed stone tools to skin, to skin it. it and <laughs> eat, it. eat its flesh. But but then but then the cats ate it all raw, and one of them was very mad. But it was like, look, we invented sushi. <laughs> I'm glad that that was the final takeaway there. I have no idea. It's, and then we flip to a different channel, and there's more things about cavemen. So I, I think don't. This guy has prehistoric artifacts. So I don't know if there's like if this is like prehistoric week in Japan, or like if it's like everybody loves prehistoric cavemen. Well, I'm excited about Japanese television, regardless. So Jeff and I weren't quite content with our just our daytime soccer viewing, uh, so we've come to Rukugian Gardens for their nighttime illumination of their giant weeping sakura tree. So it's only 8.30, but uh, basically at this point everyone has gone to bed, <laughs> and uh, I don't blame them. It's, it's rough. We got up really early, and we walked all day. Um, My I, phone says like 10 miles. 10 miles? Oh. So we walked like 10 miles today, um, aka one jillion steps. Uh, and it was, it was fun. We had a great day, but like it's super, super exhausting. So... Um, and we're used to flat elevation. Yeah, I think that's a big deal, is that the elevation changes so much. There's a lot of walking uphill and downhill and, and back again, and um, that certainly made it difficult. So everyone went to bed. We're going to be getting in bed probably within the next, like, ten minutes because we're exhausted. Um, Chaz and Jeff are still out. They're on the bus on the way back. Oh, are they on their way back? I'll be asleep by the time they get here. Um, but they started earlier than we did, and I'm just really impressed. Uh, and it's not like we can be like, oh, they're youthful, whatever. They're older than us. They how did where do they get these magic powers that allow them to <laughs> have little sleep and get up earlier and stay out later? I don't know. I don't know. But I hope they had a, a great day. It sounds like they did. Anyway. That is it for, for us for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?